So, Mayor, how has this election been for a mayor of uh, Alberta's biggest city? What, how have you felt about this? Uh, frustrated more than anything else um, because we, this election has been about many things and many things that we should talk about. We should be talking about social issues. We should be talking about how the world is changing. But there really hasn't been a lot of vetting of the economic plans of, this, of the parties. And that's what bugs me. So you look at those beautiful buildings and that gorgeous skyline. One out of four of them is empty right now meaning that small businesses across the city are being faced with crushing property tax increases. People always forget that the property tax isn't just a city tax, it's also a provincial tax. And I really haven't seen from any of the parties a real economic plan that helps create jobs, that helps return Calgary to its place. Even though Calgary is so important for winning an election, they haven't come up with a plan to deal with exactly what you're talking about. You know, I love politics, right? But I love politics when it's about stuff. And so, you know, Premier Notley has spent most of the campaign in Calgary. Um, Mr. Kenny has spent a ton of the campaign in Calgary. This is the first provincial campaign where none of the party leaders came to see the mayor, which I find odd. Mm. But despite all that, we're not really talking about what we can do. You know, Mr. Kenny wants to reduce corporate taxes yeah. over four years. Yeah. It's going to create a bunch of jobs, Laffer Curve stuff. Premier Notley uh, thinks that we're going to create a whole bunch of diversified green energy jobs and so on. Both of those are fine in theory. Neither of them helps the dry cleaner who's going out of business this week. Would you, and that's yeah. what we have to focus Would on. Would you agree, though, just to the people that I've been talking to over the past day or so, nobody thinks anybody can solve all these things. Well, here's the issue, right? Neither of these parties, I should say none of them because there are five parties, none of these parties are going to get the Trans Mountain Pipeline built five minutes earlier than any other party. Some of them might get it built slower, as a matter of fact, um, if they overplay their cards. But I'm not sure that the average voter has really engaged at that level. Because I think a lot of people think either once we re-elect, you know, the NDP and the UCP kind of goes away, we'll be a golden economic age. A lot of other people think as soon as you elect the UCP and get rid of the NDP, yeah. the honey will flow. Yeah. Neither of those things is going to happen. And what I was really looking for was very practical, short-term things we can do, such as a property tax holiday for small businesses, things like that, um, to really move forward, and I didn't see any of it. Let me end on this. What what happens Wednesday? Like, you're just going to live with whatever you get. <laughs> so what, what happens for you Wednesday? Well, today I'm wearing red. Go Flames, go. <laughs> yeah, I'm ignoring this but for the record. <laughs> normally, normally I wear purple, and the reason I wear purple is because it's red and blue. I haven't figured out how to get orange in there. I like your uh, scarf. You yeah, managed to get everything yeah. in there. But... Um, I've had five premiers since I've been mayor, and I get to work with anybody because my, my only horse is Calgary. And so Wednesday morning, I go back to the books, read their platforms, and figure out how to help them make Calgary better.